Okay, welcome back. In this short video, we're going to take a look at the difference between economic growth and economic welfare. Examiners are quite keen that you understand uh, the key distinction between the two. They're not necessarily the same idea. Here's a chart showing real GDP growth for the UK up to and including 2015. Uh, you can see the years of recession, in particular in 2008 and 2009. Now, growth to an economist, of course, is an increase in the value of goods and services produced in real terms and a percentage change in GDP. It's also a long-run concept, an increase in a country's productive capacity. But we need to make a distinction between economic growth and economic welfare. So growth is an increase in the productive capacity of the economy, an increase in real national income over time. And hopefully that feeds through to an increase in per capita GDP in real terms. Economic welfare is a broader, if you like, a more holistic measure of our well-being. And that encompasses both economic variables, such as income and spending per head, but also some social aspects, including education and health outcomes. Many aspects of our well-being are not necessarily things that we can easily measure and are part of our material aspects of our lives. Uh, so, for example, we might not include not just the average level of income, but also the, the median level of income and the dispersion of income measures of income and wealth inequality. Indeed, uh, we now know that uh, uh, economic well-being requires just much more than traditional measures such as GDP. We're trying to, we're trying to put together a more, a more rounded and more comprehensive basis for assessing changes in our economic well-being or welfare. So medium household income, the unemployment rate, uh, percentage of people who are in vulnerable jobs, uh, consumer confidence, the financial security of households, and generally that feeling of security, as well as aspects of how happy we are with our own lives and those of our families. Here's one measure of well-being that's now being used uh, quite clearly. Median income is, of course, the middle value. It's the income of the middle household. If all the households in Britain were ranked from lowest income to the highest and you can see what's happened to real median disposable income in the UK it took a dip of course during the recession it started to rise it's just a shade under £26,000 per year so it's quite important to make a clear distinction between the growth rate of an economy as measured by the narrow measure of real GDP and economic welfare which is a broader more holistic measure of our well-being 